Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Can we just uh, move this please? Because the Pisces wants to hear me clearly. How are you? Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, what's new? What's up Pisces? How you've been? What you Are you busy? You're always busy Pisces. You're too busy to stop by here. So let's start. Okay. I may use three tarot cards and an oracle deck, just, you know, feeling generous, Kylie, generous, right? Um, but today, I'm also using the candle that I personally okay, bestowed upon good energy for you. This is the lemon uh, green tea and lemongrass. I know I put this for Aries, Spices, and Taurus. This is this one. Now, this is 100% soy, okay? And this is what, how we're going to manifest your reading right now. It's a little warm there, okay? <laughs> And also, I'm using a Brazilian, okay, um, amethyst. If you guys um, are not aware, I started to venture, okay, on very, very few collect, uh, selected collect or something like that. Not a collect call, but <laughs> a few select um, um, pieces uh, for crystal. Um, and so make sure you check that out. It's in uh, eatreadlove.me. And I do tutorial on different things at Instagram and IGTV. So do check that out. I do readings there in IGTV. So there it is. Okay. And the bamboo, as always, uh, it's here. And for people who knows how to get it, it's at salbiadora.com. Make sure you sign up also. There is a free class webinar um, this coming weekend. Okay. So this is for the app that I use. It's free on how to use it. The because you just don't know how this how amazing this app. It will tell you when to buy a car, when to pay debts, how to um, do the remedies. It is the whole thing. Vedic sidereal astrology as always, right? Um, and it will tell you, you know, good days, bad days, stop and go. Everything is personalized. It's aligned, okay? And it's gonna be. I'll put the link in the comment, not in the description, because you guys will get lost in the comment. I'll put it there. You got me? Okay. So sign up. It's free. Okay. It's free. Well, uh, you know, it's free. Okay. So, yeah, it's free. Mm -hmm. Here we go. The webinar is free. Yeah. <laughs> that was gonna say, the webinar is free. Okay. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Okay. I'm also using the girl and the quiche. The quiche is my own tarot card. Let's use this one first. Hmm, doing something. Busy bee. Busy, busy bee. Hmm, let's see. How busy are you? Too busy to care, Sal. Hmm, you got a lot on your hand right now. So it can be busy because of work. It can be busy because you're taking care of a lot of things and a lot of people, right? Now, the magician shows here that... Mm -hmm. Let me just move this here. Okay. It looks like... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. You have an idea, very, very specific about you growing, you changing your life. Um, and you feel like, I need this opportunity in life right now. This is about to change. I'm not sure what you're trying to change with your life. Um, it involves reading books. It can also be, you know doing some magic it is a magician so you're manifesting okay you're manifesting stuff you need because this is having the right tools and that's what we have in the eat with love is the tools mm. you can't just come up with something you got to use certain stuff energy energy all these are energy the plant has energy the crystal has energy and the fire has energy right that's how you manifest with energy Mm, but it has to be select and handmade. I was teaching the uh, Scorpio um, manifestation. I asked them if they want to. So let me ask you, do you want to learn also, Pisces? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever wondered why in some culture they do that incense, okay? And those rituals in their religion, but they never tell you why. And what is inside that thing, but they never tell you why. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a tradition that they do because they believe in something in the smoke. The smoke 
goes to the other dimension. And that's where you're doing cleansing with it. Yeah. It ain't a secret, but they're not teaching it. Mm, that's what I'll say. <laughs> I find it funny. Because the Hierophant is religion. <laughs> and I was talking about religion. In religion, they do practice it. It is true, but they're not an occult, you know. This, they call it the occult. Because that's established, you know. The ancient wisdom of magic. It's not about bending other people's will. It's all about making reality come, you know, like your dreams come true. As above, so below. You're more powerful than ever, Pisces. You are a creator because you're part of the creator. Does it make sense? You are one with the universe here. Mm. With the Hierophant, um, there's, of course, there's a manifestation you're trying to manifest. can be a union, right? Mm -hmm. That's the Hierophant. So how do you manifest a relationship? This is going to be a question for you. Then first you have to work for your healing. Um, there will be different um, you know, aspects in your life, different karmas that you have to look into, right? And that's how you can um, you know, manifest. For, you, know, you can't just get it and then manifest it. You got to do the work, boo. You got to do the cleansing. You got to do the healing. Yeah, that's the only time. Because once the vessel, which is your body, is clear and pure and you've accepted all the karmas, then now here comes what is right for you. And then you can use the tool. Okay? Mm so I just want coins. Can you tell me about coins? Of course I will tell you about coins, Pisces. Yes? Mm. King of Pentacles. So first, you need this for your protection. Next, you need Agni, which is, of course, the fire god, right? Because it will, okay? Um, well, for me, it always has helped me because they call it the fire magic, right? Because um, you, you, there are different ways. You can do the water, you can do air, you can do uh, different elements. Depends, but you can tell. Um, you will not be able to know until you try. Does it make sense? And it is not like a weird thing to do. Fire has been here for the longest time. So don't tell me, oh my God, that's so scary. You know what's scary? That dating app of yours inside that phone. Mm -hmm. That didn't bring you anything good. And this one is conjuring you something positive in life. The candle, a symbol of hope. Isn't it? In one of the religion, it's a symbol that it was lit once and it lasted for how many days? I forgot which religion. It was an oil lamp. This one's a candle. So now you know how to manifest. Well, only if you have the right tools. The sun, Agni, the fire god, right? Mm. Uh, each word that I'm telling you right here is all in this table, I feel. Oh, you don't have to get the one that I have. I'm talking about you, okay? Because you're going to say, Sal, you're just selling me stuff. No, you don't have to get this. It's for someone who already has this. Now, if you don't have it, then go get it into your store. But, mm, you know, for me, but... Make sure you know how to use it. Mm. Um, with the sun card over here in King of Pentacles, recognition and fame and success is what's in what lies in your cards here. The cards are saying, basically, you're going to reach success and fame only if you have the right tools. After the magician, you can't be lazy, boo. Mm -mm. Manifestation comes, uh, you know, because you're uh, diligent. Sixth house. You got to do the work, do the work, do the work. You got to do the work. You got to do the prayer. Right? You got to keep praying and praying and praying. Mm -hmm. Action, action, action. Rewards. Mm. And I shuffle this deck, guys. And you see, you know, that this is matching this. Mm -hmm. You need protection too, Amethyst. Right? So you're manifesting. You can't just be going out there driving with no seatbelt. You can't be going out there without the mask and the face shield. Mm. Here it's showing. You can't go and manifest. Which is stuck. The symbol there mm -hmm. without the tools mm -hmm, to bring you this right so it manifests right and what is the luck here oh just here the lucky bamboo king of coins yes is right here unfolding in front of your eyes is it magic no please it's on youtube it ain't magic you see it on your screen this is not like the occult occult, meaning it's not hidden, is it? Mm. Okay, I don't do reversal. The whole deck is reversed, I'm sure. <laughs> the whole deck. Ten of cups. 
Mm -hmm. Manifesting love, love, love. It's coming. A happy relationship. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're single. Magician is single. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have any kind of attachment to anyone. And you're manifesting something that makes you happy. You're manifesting something that makes you be fulfilled. But this is about single. Mm -hmm. Like you're not trying to get to someone so that you can be in a codependent relationship. No. You're saying here, I want to be single and successful and loved. Shells I am. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, because they frown upon about, you know, like doing. It's not magic. I always say it's not magic. It's working with the energy. Okay. King of Cups. Can be same sex over here. Mm -hmm. mm. So the King of Coins and the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Um, it feels like, uh, how to say this, um, someone mature, mm -hmm, can be Capricorn, can be Scorpio, um, is here around your presence. They love you, they care about you. But present, but you're bringing this energy towards you. Um, and don't give me that law of attraction bullcrap. Yeah, it's bullcrap. I don't believe it. It's not unless you have strong placement. And it's not even law of attraction. It is karma, meaning you already know what's coming towards you. Mm-hmm. So you don't, don't. This is not law of attraction. This is not. Mm -mm. You cannot attract Brad Pitt, do you? No matter how much you do the law of attraction. Mm, no. Because you need to know your karma before you can um, attract what is meant for you. You're just paving the way. Mm. And why Brad Pitt when you can do it with Jeff Bezos? He's just divorced, right? Allegedly? Or is it already? Seven of Swords mm. and the Hermit. Okay, and I talk about the truth here. So don't give me that love of attraction, love of attraction. Mm -hmm. Seven of swords with a hermit. If it's love of attraction, then why did you attract the toxic? Mm. Why did you attract the, the cheater liar here who ghosted you? And now you found out. Sun card, seven of swords. So did you do a law of attraction to that one too? Or was it your karma? Yes, it was your karma. We do have past life things that we have to repay in the present. So now that you know... Because mm -hmm. someone, seven of swords with a hermit can be a Virgo. Now you know that this person ghosted you. Now you learned, right? You're smarter, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. You're thinking now. You're enlightened. You're woke. Okay? Because it's time for people to realize that they need to go within, go to their home, and start using energy. It's always been there, and it's not something to be scary. It's nothing scary. As long as you practice protection, okay? You can't go there not knowing, you know, the energies. Five of Swords, King of Swords. Wow, you got three kings. What are you, the Magi? Mm-hmm. You got King of Swords now, an Aquarian. Six of Cups. Okay, so there's three scenarios here that I'm seeing. The person has ghosted you, who you haven't seen for a while. The moon with the Hermit, who has been keeping secrets to you, now is trying to establish a reconciliation because what? After the breakup. They want to clarify things because they want something stable with you because they still love you. Never been more clear than that. Mm hmm. Because you get a six. It can be a concern also. And a Leo. Now, it's not in their sun sign. I always go for their ascendant or moon sign. You have a sun in Cancer, though, here. A sun in Capricorn, which means a person is famous. Um, government, um, someone is well opposition to government or a big corporation. Normally, this is the. I call that the, um, the is it the Forbes 500? Something like that. Because the King of Pentacles with the Faith card, um, that's someone who is in power. Okay? Business entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Now, there is someone who left you, wants to come back. Accept it, don't post it. Don't obsess with love, release love. That's how you manifest love, by the way. It's totally to give love, release it. Power is execution of knowledge. Mm-hmm. Accept it. Don't post it. So this is looking like you already know how to um, to do the work. I'm making the change, Sal, which is the progress, which is good. You're not lazy. A lot of people wants to have instant. Nah, you can't. Harry Potter didn't become Harry Potter. Yeah? Mm-hmm. They got to put in the work. Mm. Don't obsess with love or least love. If they got to go, they got to go, Sal. Mm. Good. Right? And power is the execution of knowledge. Once you know what to do, once you know what is toxic, what do you do? You choose the right one. We all know cake is not good. But I love cake. 
that's my weakness. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's that one, eating healthy and eating the unhealthy foods, yes? Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading Pisces. Um, let me know if you want to attend also the manifestation class. I offered it to the Scorpio, and you're the second water sign that I'm opening it up to. Um, I want people to learn how to bring good things in their life the safer and the better way. Only if you're good, because if it's not, then I will have to be your Yoda. And I don't want to be in battle with the Sith Lord. Yes, okay? I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Everything you need is in the description box below, down there, um, you know, for the extended. And today I am using, okay, the Leopardocyte and the Black Agate and a Rolly. The Rolly is for me to stay in a commitment. <laughs> Thank you. You know who you are. Patek is for you to have me already. Okay. Or my AG. Audemars PJ. Okay. <laughs> so that's that one. Okay. So all this has a reason. So ask yourself, do you have things that has a reason for you or it's just clutter? Start cleaning and start manifesting. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hey, love. Got your heart on your sleeve, but the shirt on your back's a bit small. Hey, you, yeah, your colors are changing, the world ain't half bad.